All right, guys, so I'm actually just briefly going to cover something I don't usually do in the program. I don't render my images in World Creator um, because I just find Octane Render and other 3D programs to be a lot better for my specific needs. But if you guys want to render your own images directly out of World Creator, I'll show you just quickly how to set up a scene. I'm not going to be trying to create a masterpiece over here, guys. I'm just going to show you quickly these different uh, tools that they give you for rendering as well. So one of the tabs we never touched on the scene was objects and by objects, let me just go ahead and delete that. If I go and add layer and click on add, it's got a built-in library of just a bunch of objects like trees, shrubs, grass, bushes. Now all of these assets are really cool and they're even animated so they'll blow, blow in the wind, uh, which I thought was a pretty cool addition. We've got rocks and we even got some props over here, mushrooms, tree bark, tree stumps and all of that. So for the purpose of this, we're in a desert. I'm going to add some rocks into our scene. So automatically it just scatters them throughout the terrain. So you'll see they just scattered here on our terrain. Now you can specify an area. So if I went to areas and I said add area, I could just have these rocks populated in one specific region. Now I've still got this on 4K. So I'm going to go to surface and actually while I'm scattering props and all of this, I'm going to put this back on two. Right, so let's go to area. So like I was saying, you could have these rocks scattered on a very specific region. So maybe I just want some rocks over here. You can do that. I'm going to use this default square bounding box. Go back to scene, objects, and then nearby area. Just say default name. And now you'll just have these rocks just in this area. Right, and then there's a lot of other options that are specific for each object. You can adjust the height offset. So if you want this to be deeper into the terrain like that, you'll decrease that value. Uh, some other stuff, again, I don't play around with these settings, guys. So <laughs> there's some sliders here. I don't even know really what they do, but you guys can play around and see what they do as well. Uh, but you can see some of the stuff is similar to what we were, some of these options are similar to even the texture region, you can see we can assign stuff according to an angle, even on a slope. So that's how you would do that. So you can just add a bunch of these different objects in your scene. Here by details, details are similar to objects. Let me click on add. Uh, with the details, you can add some, again, like some grass or stuff on your terrain. So let's say over here, I'm going to add maybe this into my scene and if I zoom in really close you can see it's even animated right it's blowing in the wind and I'll show you exactly what's affecting that okay right so you can see it's just blowing very gently in the wind and what's controlling that is actually this weather tab which is another thing we didn't play around with you can change the direction of the wind you can change uh, adjust the overall intensity of that wind as well and just some other options you can play around with I, just, I really like the fact that it's real time. It kind of feels like you're almost playing a video game right now. It's pretty cool. But yeah, some settings that you guys can play around with. You can even you can add rain into your scene. You can see we even getting those the context of the rain on the actual surface. So it's raining in the desert right now. <laughs> pretty cool uh, post effects. And obviously, none of this stuff you can export out of yet. It's just for the purpose of using World Creator, right? If you wanted to use the features in here then you're good to go. You've got all of these post effects that are pretty cool. All right, so that's that's just explaining it really briefly. You can add a bunch of objects in your scene, rocks, trees, uh, basically whatever you want, just to start detailing your terrain a little bit more. So you can see there's some big rocks that's scattered on our terrain as well. Right, so if you were going for this and you wanted to, for whatever reason, render within World Creator, this is just showing you briefly, they added some cool props and objects that you can add onto your terrain to start detailing it. Alright, the ocean I covered earlier, so you can add an actual, whoa, now we're underwater, uh, you can add, <laughs> you can add an actual ocean in your scene that's also animated. Alright, so that could be part of the maybe part of your final render if you want water in your scene for whatever reason. Obviously the textures and terrain is not looking that good. That's because we're still on this 2 meter. There we go. You can add some water in your scene. Actually, I'm going to keep that there just for the purpose of this. Here's our grass. Our grass is located here. So 
Yeah, maybe there's some water there in the distance. You can change the overall color of the water, the views, and all of that. Actually, I'm going to disable that because we are in the desert. And uh, we covered w uh, weather, a sky. We can add a sky box into our scene. So I'll just click on default and we can change the time of day. All right, so there we got this glaring sun over there. And you can see we can adjust the sun size. We can add some fog and haze into our scene. It's just a lot of built in post processing effects. And maybe if you guys like this, you can play around with this stuff and see how far you can push it. But like I said, I don't really render images within World Creator, but I thought I'll just show you this anyway. Uh, we've got these sun shafts and god rays and cloud density and just a whole lot of self explanatory sliders here that you guys can play around with. Okay, and I've covered objects, covered details. Just showed you that you can apply it to a specific area. And now if we go to post, actually, I n I've never used this tab ever. I've never used the simulation tab. So I can't even explain what's going on here. I'm sure it's showing stuff with cloud speed and you can do simulations. But I n I've never used that tab. And now if you want to maybe get a more polished image, I'm actually going to put this back on half a meter just to get those 4K details back. All right, and um, let's see. So go to options, and now there's a whole lot of um, sliders and settings here that work in conjunction with actually rendering your image. You can see we can adjust a lot of stuff related to the shadows. You can even have reflections. HDR just makes that sun pop a lot more. We can even do color correction directly within the program. Color effects, so they have built-in LUTs, and LUTs are like pre predefined um, what you call it, like color presets, they get applied to image, so you can see different types of LUTs, whoa, that looks crazy. <laughs> um, camera motion blur, I'm guessing maybe if you try to render a video, which I've never tried, never played around with that, uh, bloom, right, it's going to control, it's just going to add this really bright blooming effect to your render. There's some ambient occlusion settings here. Vignette. That is basically going to do that. We can add some depth of field. And we can adjust the focus plane. And there we go. Now it's auto saving my project. But again, guys, if, if you like these settings, I'd say play around with it and I don't know, see see what you can come up with. Right, maybe, maybe you guys like the built-in render within World Creator. Maybe you don't have access to Octane. I, I honestly wish Octane was real time and had all of these effects built into it like this that I could just adjust without waiting for an image to render because we've seen everything immediately, which I think is, is pretty cool. Uh, so we've got some depth of field, anamorphic flares. Don't use that. Sun flares. Uh, we can add some lens dirt on here as well. Just a post-processing effect. If that's something you're into. And yeah, there we go. And then obviously you, if you maybe adjusted some settings, you just click on that arrow to reset it to default. But you can see you can get something out of a world creator. If you like what this program has to offer and the fact that everything over here is in real time, you can rent out an image. And now let's say we were happy with this image. Oh, there's also a camera option over here. I forgot to mention that. So we can adjust uh, like field of view and some other settings in here related to the camera. But just press F10, it's going to go into full screen mode so we can see everything. All right. And like I said, I, I actually, I really, really wish there were more real time programs like this. And I'm just pressing F just to reset to that. I wish there were more real time programs that allowed you to do stuff like this. You can see I'm just going a little bit off the terrain over there. So there you go. And then I think you press F12. Yeah, there we go. That's to take a screenshot and get saved to one of the World Creator folders. Or I can just press F10 and click on that icon over there, which is take screenshot. It'll take a screenshot of what we see. So you see, 
You can definitely render something directly out of the program as well, if that's what you guys are into and you like the settings that are included here. You don't ever need to leave the program. You can just create your stuff, texture it, render it, scatter props on here, and get your final image straight out of WorldCreator. Okay.